So I'm just going to do a quick video of our woodland. We're starting off in our garden. Just a quick flash. It's a bit of a mess at the minute, but hey ho, it's winter. Lots of ribbons still hanging up and lots of chimes. So this hedge we're actually going to take out completely when we get the the woodland completely because behind this all this ivy there's an old building so we'll take that out this we want to completely uncover and maybe make it into a little seating area there's a field there that has a horse in it and on the floor we have lots of cyclamen that are coming out. Lots of old dead trees that are coming down. Oh, here's Trinity. Hello, Trinity. Cat Haven up here. Oh, and there's Neo. I think they're on mouse hunt. Hello, my Neo. He's obviously watching something. Hello, Trinity. It's so like spring today. We've got lots of box hedge, this plant with a red cherry on it, which apparently is a sign of an ancient woodland. We've already taken down a load here. There's Neo being the wild. The wild cat. Hello, Neo. Hello, my good boy. You're going to come with us, Neo? Trinity. Oh, here's Zeki. Come on, Zeki. Looks like we're going for a walk with the cats then. Come on, Trinity. Hello, my Zeki. Hello, Neo. Come on in. So what we really want to do with this woodland, our vision is having it um, very natural. We're going to keep it, obviously a lot of the trees and get down all this bramble, a lot of bramble to get down. Hello Maseki. We want to have lots of chimes hanging up in here, hammock, swing. I want to have a meditation area as well. Steve wants to get a shamanic lodge up here and we want to to have like little natural walkways filled with bluebells and daffodils <laughs> and a place to walk for our cat Seki with a little kink in her tail my gorgeous Neo a little Trinity the warrior So Trinity is just showing us to an actual pond, which at the moment only fills up in winter. And we want to completely empty this of leaves and get the, the water flowing naturally in here because the, the land is clay based. So there's a lot of water that comes in. This tree is actually dead in the middle. So we'll take out this tree. Right now it's a cat watering hole <laughs> and we want to be able to um, have this pond here all the time and the water flowing from it into our garden that Steve has created an actual waterfall and we're going to create a second pond and have a water clearing system in it so we can get naturally clean water that's drinkable. Right now this is a place for the cats. So this is something we need to do. So I can imagine this in the spring when it's all green and, and open. It's just incredible. 
is about 3,000 square metres. We've got lots of trees to cut down. And obviously Steve's profession is a tree surgeon. So he knows exactly what to do. He's already been taking down bits here, then, everywhere. Well, it's already getting overgrown. We've got lots of, this is hazel, lots of hazel and hawthorn and oak in here. More boxwood and holly that creates a natural hedge that's all the way around here. This is, is like a natural circle. I don't know if you can actually, oops. There's a natural circle of trees and I'd really like this maybe to have like a, a meditation area, maybe with a fire pit in the middle and stones or logs to sit on. There's a field at the back here, an agricultural field that isn't, obviously it's not ours. And then we come to this morning, this where we've been working this morning. The cats know exactly the way around the woodland. Hi Neo, I'm a good boy. A beautiful hazel here. So this morning, uh, we've been doing a mass clear out. Steve has chopped down a tree because this is natural oak. There's a post here, and there was a tree in the middle that Steve has cut down because it was blocking. We need to have a, a way to get in here with a small tractor. So it's a natural post, natural gateway from one place to another. So this morning, I've <laughs> cleared. There was a thick bramble like here going all the way across to, to that tree there. So I've cleared the whole lot with shears. And Steve's been chopping down trees. I'll take it up to the top end first. This we eventually want to clear. The, our wooden goes to the end of this bramble. And this would be, you know, the day we would love to get married, have our, well, our wedding ceremony in here, our own one. And this is the ideal place to do it because it's it's archway and it's almost like a little church area. So all this has been cleared this morning. There was I was clearing all this bramble. That's where we've just come in from. And this poor little tree down here. This was covered to round about here with bramble and I suddenly realised that, that there was a tree in it. Oh, sparrowhawk just gone over. Wow. Um, so I completely uncovered this poor little tree that Steve reckons it may be a cherry tree. I've cleared all this this morning. Big branch, obviously Steve's done the work and I've been clearing out thick bramble. The bramble went all the way up to this tree. You couldn't walk here this morning. <clears throat> There's Trinity going up the tree. Trinity! <laughs> A little secchi down on the floor. They love it when we come in here. And then this hedge, right now we've got the natural uh, not box hedge, what's it called? Butcher's broom, that's it. We have butcher's broom and holly. This is a natural lining. Lots of holly and hazel. And this, we've cleared it this morning. And just look at that. I imagine when this is in the spring, when it's green, it's going to be a natural archway to walk through. And on the floor... <laughs> on the floor to have bluebells and, and crocuses and so this morning we've been clearing out any small trees like that that's been on the walkway and cutting them all down as well as the brambles again that's the way we came through so it's creating a natural walkway or secchi ah secchi 
more woodland here it's wood so um i mean that is a gorgeous hazel making a natural archway so what steve will be doing with things like this with this wood he's going to make a dead hedge which has already started which i'll show you when we get to the bottom So we're trying to get this land here as well because normally the land up to that wood pile also belongs to the farmer. And that goes all the way up to there, that big oak. And all the way down to there. So if we could get this, it would be incredible. There's so much, there's so much we could do with that land. So we're in negotiation with that because it's a different, maybe a different type of, of land. It's like spring this morning. You wouldn't believe it's the 15th of January. It's been minus six this morning. And now it's just this beautiful, beautiful day. Again, this woodland. So we've got this, there's two halves of the woodland. The first half we walked up, cut across, and now we're going down the second half of it. More dead trees that we've cut down this morning, or trees or trees that are in the way, because we want to keep it as natural as possible, but also we want to take down trees that are maybe blocking other trees from living completely. It's a really beautiful woodland. All this bramble needs to be got rid of, cutting through it either with the strimmer or me with my shears. A little bit every day. And then more creating the, the natural dead hedge. And I'll explain about a dead hedge in a minute when we get to it. Lots of oak here. I imagine we're just walking down here when we just need peace and quiet. We can just walk into the woodland with the seven cats that follow us. Seki! Neo! Trinity! Are they pretty cats? I'll be coming through in a minute. Beautiful light this morning. Do we have greater the natural... Well, we had cut through the bramble to be able to get to this section because we couldn't get through before. It's just, we've decided, I mean, we, we haven't officially got the woodland yet, but we've also said that if we can't have it, if they he wants to charge a ridiculous price, then he would sort of be thankful that we've cleared out the woodland because people have complained that he's just let it overgrow. And if, you know, if we can't have it, somebody else has it, well, the woodland is done. We may also be able to rent it out or in exchange for having, you know, for clearing it, we can have the chickens but I'm pretty sure it's going to be ours. And then through between these oaks. I've been clearing out all this. We cleared out this we couldn't walk through. Um, yesterday all this was completely covered with bramble. Steve did half, then I did the other half. And we managed to cut through and create this gorgeous arch. And then we intend to get a small tractor and to be able to get rid of all this mulch it and also have woodland wood for, for a wood burner, for a fire. We've also cleared all this. This was all covered in bramble. So I've also cleared, well, as Steve, all this here. This is the back of the jeet. And then this is a dead hedge. So a dead hedge, basically, you're just laying down um, branches that will also allow animals to nest in. It will also have plants growing through it as well. You can also bend down, for example, hazel heat, you can actually bend it into the hedge so that it will, can, it will grow and become green. 
but this we're going to do all the way along this side. Some wood here that Steve's cut up with his chainsaw. All that we've cut down before we couldn't see behind the sheet and I've cut so much down from there. I've cleared that whole lot. Along with Steve has been doing the Steve does all the big work and I do all the, the groundwork. So good teamwork. Work area. Built in the campfire. <laughs> ah, here's Isis. Hello my little girl. Hello Isis and we have trinkets. Hello my good pussycats. So the next area of interest is this little barn building. Now while I was cutting down this, all this was covered in bramble, I've cleared out the whole lot. We came across this circle. We don't know if it's a well, a fire pit, we have no idea. But here there was also stones as well. Steve's cut down two trees here because we want to clear out this whole lot. These we were going to keep, but I think one of them's dead. We were going to keep the posts, but it, they're just dead. Uh, all this has got to be cleared as well, the bramble. There's little Isis. And we have Trinity. So if you walk through here. So I've been clearing out all this. I tend to clear out a lot so that Steve can get to the, the trees to cut down. All this I've cleared. And then under this somewhere, there is also, apart from tree stumps, there is also stones from a barn or a building. We have no idea exactly what it was. So all this we have to clear out. Loads of chopped wood that Steve's done as well that we can have for a fire. And here we go. This is back to the other side where we first entered in. I'll just take us around a different way. Let's see if we can get through. As well as filming, I'll have to be careful of where I'm putting my feet. So you see all the dead wood and the stuff that <laughs> little trinket and Isis. And this takes us back out to where we walked in. Through the garden, little trinity. And there we have our little woodland. So it'll, it'll just be absolutely beautiful. Steve's had this vision for well, since he's been here really for eight years and finally he can get in and really start doing something with it and we just want to make it our dream really a place where we can be build a little log cabin in here so we can you know stay overnight and just be part of nature and there we have it cat haven So this is little Trinket, who is so tiny. She has tall shell in her, so she has very short legs. And Trinity is like a surrogate mum. When the little ones were born, Trinity was taken away a day at a time to train, to bond. So she's really trained Trinket up and she looks after her. And Isis is our little hippie. She's a little nature girl. Is somewhere in the trees and there's our woodland this is part one the next time it'll be completely different